Hi friends, we are talking about RP, retinitis pigmentosa. It is the most common hereditary fundus pathology ever found in humans. It is mostly it affects the rods in the retinal layer, first the rods and that is why first it affects the evening vision or night vision because rods uh, cells are concerned with night vision then eventually it affects the cones as well so eventually the patient becomes uh, legally blind even for uh, in the daytime and uh, eventually it goes into blindness so what is the mode of onset and what age is the mode of onset it is it depends on how the uh, the mode of inheritance the it's a genetic predisposition you know and uh, genetically it could be autosomal dominant autosomal recessive or xlr or it could be a sporadic event xlr and autosomal recessive are the most dreaded uh, you know the the outcome is very very bad um, so sooner by in, by the age of 30 to 40 years of age they go uh, almost blind or fully blind so if god uh, gives you a wish and he says you have to take one of these the best ones to take are either either the sporadic cases or the autosomal recessive autosomal dominant uh, genetic condition so um, that that goes as far as the mode of inheritance is concerned so one in five thousand people are affected by retinitis pigmentosa and commonly it is because of um, marrying within relatives within close relatives consanguinity is the commonest cause so now as far as atypical rp there is a condition called atypical rp or it is not it doesn't fit into a typical picture so they are also associated with some uh, other uh, problems in the body they are called syndromic rp and uh, it is because of a mitosomal inheritance so it will for example uh, lawrence moon beetle syndrome uh, a kid will have retinitis pigmentosa he'll have uh, polydactyly more than five fingers six or seven fingers he'll have uh, short stature obese individual hypogonadism the testis wouldn't have descended, uh, descended fully so these kind of uh, problems will be there so uh, there are a lot of syndromes like this associated with retinitis pigmentosa so what are the investigations investigations are commonly the erg electroretinogram and multifocal electroretinogram is the real clinching uh, part of the diagnosis but even clinically seeing it we can we can make out to a large extent and eog can be done oct is one area where you can find out um, the cystoid macular edema whether it is there or not and uh, it can be treated with uh, um, certain injections like anti vegf injections to pre uh, prevent the uh, uh, cystoid macular edema the complications associated with uh, retinitis pigmentosa are uh, cataract um, the side vision going down so field of vision becoming very less or um, the central vision goes off the side vision is there so various other uh, ways are uh, it it uh, manifests or as a complication and uh, predominantly treatment part um, uh, vitamin a supplementation is generally recommended um, but uh, if it is because of a star guards disease um, if the if the pattern is like uh, bronze beaten metal appearance and uh, so if it is star guards pattern then it's better we avoid vitamin a rich food because that will aggravate the condition so these are some of the things uh, one uh, important thing is now we have tried on patients with uh, patient, patients with rp on uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy uh, good nutritive 
vitamin a rich diet and stem cell therapy is also being tried um, so this is showing good results so for details on these kind of conditions if you are uh, you know suffering please do contact us uh, in the number given below or call us and come over and meet us so that you find out what where you stand and what kind of genetic predisposition you have and based on that we could uh, give you some recommendation thank you dr sash